afternoon, South Africa, and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express, and my name is Jeannie D. There's such a great buzz and vibe in the loft today. We've got children, we've got animals, and we've got singers, and woo, it's going to be an exciting day. And it really is such an exciting Monday in the studio. I hope you are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with your energy pumping as we start off the third week of the month. We'd like to extend a huge congratulations to the trailblazing uh, Elwed Chipchoche, Kipchoche, that's how you spell it, the pronounce name. The super athlete literally shocked the world this past weekend when he became the first marathon runner to break the two-hour barrier in Vienna. What an absolute achievement. A true testament, I think, to Africans reaching amazing heights across the globe. So our Mommy, Ma Mommy Monday segment today is all about babies and cuteness with a little uh, aquatic spin to it. We chat to Dr. Lyndall Gibbs, who is a palliative care pediatrician in light of National Baby Swimming Week. Now, Dr. Lyndall will give us some key insight into the early developments of babies that learn how to swim. So don't miss out on that, especially if you're a new mommy in need of more information. Now, it's almost November. I can't believe how quickly this year has gone. And we all know exactly what that means. The summer bodies are steady on their way to being on full display. So, we've got fitness coach, like more Fadzi, he's in studio and he's r a ridiculously chiseled Adonis and he's ready to demonstrate a few excellent workouts that you can do with a partner or a buddy. Now, the great thing is that you actually don't even need a semblance of a gym membership, just you and your motivation. And now, let us start with the first segment of the show. Singer and songwriter Miguel Pogrero burst onto the scene with his debut track titled Vanamos. Now, the rising musicians, who is actually also Portuguese and, of Portuguese and Spanish descent, has since gained airplay in radio stations across the nation and in countries like Brazil, Canada, and Spain. He joins us today to chat about his Latin musical influences and his brand new single titled My Baby Says She Loves Me. My baby says she loves me, but I know that's all a lie. My baby says she needs me, tries to make me feel guilty when she cries. My baby says she wants me, but ask about the others and she'll deny. The truth is clear to see, there's someone better out there waiting for me. I'm living a lie, how could I? Talented and the super good looking Miguel in the studio. Of course, if you've got any questions for Miguel, head over to our social media platforms using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So good to have you. And how lucky are we that you know you're gracing us with such amazing talent? Because it almost wasn't was that you were going to be a singer. You were going Very to be a true. professional soccer player. That was always my my dream. Yeah. Is professional soccer player. Um, music was quite late in my career journey, you could say. Yeah. Um, my transition from soccer to music came from going into film and acting. Yeah. Uh, it was something I wanted to pursue, and music was an option where I started studying as something extra to, to yeah. take. Who, who did you play soccer for? How far did you take that? So I took it as far as um, NFD, so Division One. Okay. Um, didn't play many games, but I was playing for Highlands Park and okay. uh, Vashk Drama here in Cape Town, now Amazing. known as Stellenbosch FC. Yeah. Um, but obviously, if I was still continuing with soccer, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. Exactly. Where did you industry. find the passion for music? I mean, were you obviously singing while you were playing soccer as well, or did it no. like, occur to you that you actually had some talent? So my, <laughs> <laughs> my story starts with a wooden mic experience where I sang deliberately in a chipmunk voice um, to to just be on TV, you know, do something, oh, uh, something different. Oh, please sing in a chipmunk voice oh, for wow. us. Because you're uh, going to be singing with your real voice later. Please do okay. it. <laughs> do you, do you, okay, I have to do a chip, the song from the album, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. Right? Okay, which one should I look at? It's the one. <laughs> that one. Won't you take me to Funky Town? Won't you take me to Funky Town? That's so embarrassing. How did you do <laughs> 
did you do? Where, where's it you coming know. from? Your pat's facing actually, that time. I, actually, <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain how I do it. I just remember watching the movie yeah. and I was like, how are, they, how are they doing this? That is so and fascinating. And I had no idea that there was such a thing as like vocal effects and you can actually yeah. change the pitch of a voice. Yeah. So I just try to mimic it. Amazing. Yeah. But you actually can sing. You've got a fantastic voice. Thank you so much. Do you write all your own songs as I well? I do. I do write Amazing. Take me through that process and what it's like in studio with you. I mean, where, where, does, just, where do you muster up all of that Latino passion? So <laughs> the writing process for me, well, if I speak on this new song in particular, I started with the title. So yeah. I start with a whole bunch of songs and I write the titles and I look back and I'm like, okay, this could be a cool song. What does this title mean to me? So yeah. my baby says she loves me. I was like, it looks like a love song but yeah was that not based on a true story because your music video was quite intense as it well. is it is quite it is based on an old past experience but also through my experiences of um, friends that I've seen going through the same type of experience you know yeah um, so the song if you have to say it is actually called my baby says she loves me you know it says one thing but actually means the other so in the writing, right? The writing <laughs> process goes from I start generally with the title and what it means to me, and then I go to the the music. Yeah. For me, the music is always my my number one. I want people to feel something from yeah. um, what they hear, and then lyrically, I want to to drive that message yeah. across as well. And you definitely have that sound, that beautiful Latino sound. You are Portuguese. I am Portuguese, And, yes. I mean, how did you manage to get, I mean, obviously the songs are great. So, obviously, just the rest of the world has fallen in love with you as well. So, Brazil, Canada, yes, and now yes. South Africa. So, the whole Spanish sound obviously will then go down to my roots as um, being yeah. Portuguese. And that whole Latin type sound, I've always loved. Yeah. I've always, always loved. And I feel like it would not, I wouldn't be myself if I w no. wasn't putting that, that type of sound across. Yeah. And um, my influences are heavily from a Spanish and Portuguese instrumentation. Yeah. So can you um, move your hips way. like the Latinos I, do I as try, well. I try. <laughs> it's like the figure of eight. We're going to yes. get you to do a little, a little <laughs> bit later. So we've asked you if you've got any questions for Miguel. And then Dean Miles asks, how do people from different countries handle music since you sing Spanish? And what is that in music culture? Okay, so I think the, the important thing is to try and make sure, because most of the times performing in South Africa, nobody understands a word that I'm, I'm singing about. So to try and get that, that message across is beyond just a performance point of view, you need to um, showcase Passion. It's all about yeah. the passion. That is the perfect. The but perfect I mean, word. how many how many concerts do you go overseas to, to watch, and then you don't understand what the singer's singing, and it sing. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's how I feel about more music. More music. And you just you just have <laughs> yeah, to miss it. I still like it. That's it. Now, don't forget to join us after the break to find out more about how you could win with fame and fortune all on the Tropica show, and whilst taking in the cool Caribbean breeze. she be right now. Today, brave young kids around our country fight their own private battle against cancer. To show them that other kids and families have got their back, a portion of the proceeds from every NutriKids product sold will go to secure the next Clover NutriKids Chalk Home in Port Elizabeth, a support base where children undergoing treatments and their families are accommodated, supported and given a fighting chance against cancer.
It's time to shine with Big Soleil Razors. You can win one of five Big Soleil Shine Essential Packs worth 5,000 Rand. Check out Big Soleil on Facebook and at Big underscore SA on Instagram and complete the weekly self care challenges to enter. For your chance at one of those 5,000 Rand prizes, get your shine with Big Soleil. Competition closes October the 31st. T's and C's apply. Now, with summer on the way, staying cool and fresh is top of mind. And for many of us, the dream might be to own an air conditioner to keep our homes crisp and cool while we live and play during hot summer days. Owning one usually invites the expense of running it, meaning increased electricity, but with LG's state-of-the-art inverter technology, no one has to worry about that. Using inverter technology, LG Art Cool Air Conditions can run either through at full or, like at, or lower the capacity capacity to save electricity, which saves them needing to turn on and off and needlessly wasting electricity, ready to add a cool and crisp touch to your home. Then LG's Art Cool range is the air conditioner for you. It's now time for our self-care series brought to you by Big Soleil. Now, every now and again, most of us take time out to thoroughly spring clean our homes and our daily professional workspaces, often well maintained by a group of dedicated maintenance staff. However, have you ever thought of how clean living spaces impact your psychological and emotional positioning? Well, life coach Kirsty Melmed has the lowdown and she's on the couch with me right now. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. It always gets to around this time of the year where I think everybody needs a good spring clean and I always feel like I just need to do a good cull mm. because it feels like it changes your mental state as well as uh, you know you just feel better mm. when the space around you looks better mm. is that actually a psychological thing absolutely it's a little bit like hitting a reset button yeah because I mean we, we're under so much pressure these days and we've got so many responsibilities to fulfill so when you come home and your house is a mess on top of all of that yeah it's going to lead to feeling even more overwhelmed and out of control so it's so important for your they say tidy house tidy mind yeah, yeah to have is there a psychological thing though like if you are like a hoarding or if you not if you're not living in a clean environment mm, yes definitely I mean hoardings obviously the extreme end of it yeah. and you could even go the other way and say somebody who's you know obsessively cleaning all yeah. the time and I think either extreme it, it, it's really a reflection that there's something not right going on inside. Perhaps yeah. there's too much responsibility or too too high a need to control yeah. your surroundings. Yeah. So balance is always key. I always feel like when you when you feel the need to be lighter, mm -hmm. like mentally, then actually physically lighten things. So I do a wardrobe cull. Mm -hmm. Cleaning out my garage mm -hmm. is a really, really big one for me because then hygienically as well, it's really good to get that space very clean. Um, what kind of tips do you have for our viewers mm -hmm. to kind of declutter? So I think the important thing is to take it one step at a time. Mm -hmm. So rather than striving for absolute perfection and a pristine home, rather choose one thing and go from there. So for example, it could be something simple like making your bed every morning. Yeah. And when you are consistently achieving that, then start introducing, you know, one more thing such as putting your clothes in the washing basket rather than, you know, on that chair in the house that we all have, which yeah. accumulates dirty laundry. <laughs> and the other thing is to set yourself up for success. So if something simple like putting your clothes in yeah. the laundry basket feels hard perhaps it's because the basket's not in the room where you get undressed okay and it sounds so superficial but really it could be the thing that makes the difference it just makes it easier for you so is it possible then to teach yourself to be disciplined or neat like what happens if you are just a messy person yeah. is there such a thing as just a messy person or can you teach yourself the discipline to you know have some kind of an order in your home yeah so I know for myself I'm a lot messier or inclined to be messy when I'm feeling overwhelmed and out of control yeah. so 
certainly you can start cultivating a habit. And habits are really just things that you do repetitively. So the more that you do it, and that's why I say start with small things, the more that you start with the small things, you feel yourself achieving them, the more encouraged you're going to feel and the more reinforced that new habit's going to be. Yeah. And then it's easier to start adding on and adding on. So you absolutely, I mean, with any goal in life, yeah. but specifically in this instance, the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. Why do you think it is so important and uplifting for your spirit, you know, if we're discussing self-care, mm -hmm. to be in a clean, beautiful, uncluttered environment? I think at the end of the day, we all want to feel like we're in control of our yeah. lives. So coming home to a place that's ordered and neat, it feels like, you know, you did that, you're in yeah. control of that. And the other thing is, you know, the emotional impact it has when you come home to a messy home is you might start judging yourself and, yeah. you know, feeling a sense of shame or embarrassment about where you're at. And that's not going to be good in the long term. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't get home and, like, if I've left dishes, I have to do it before I get to bed because if I look at it, there is something about it that does bring you down. Mm. And also, I can't think of anything more, in, like, exciting to do on a Saturday morning, especially when the weather's not so great, mm. than sitting and clearing and colouring and uh, clearing cupboards mm. and uh, um, colour coordinating them yeah. as well, just so that when you open them, it's nice, neat, and gives my life a semblance of order. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and some other another random thing that I do is angry dishes. <laughs> so what are angry dishes. So if I've had an argument with someone or someone said something on social media yeah. that's really, you know, made me upset, yeah. then I go and I do all the dishes. And it's so oh, wow. satisfying to take something that's really messy and make it really clean and that's feel like a I'm good idea, back but in I, control. I can't do angry dishes. I would be I can't have you breaking a plate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Greek dishes for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing all of these fantastic tips on self-care with us yeah, so you. clean up your shelves because it's time to shine you stand the chance now to win a big soleil product hamper filled with all of the essentials to keep you looking and feeling your best all you have to do is visit the afternoon express facebook page and reply to the competition post telling us your best self-care tip and you could be our lucky winner fast rate supply t's and c's apply and visit afternoonexpress.co.za to find them thanks Make this summer your time to shine with Big Soleil. So now that our cupboards are super, super clean, I'm in need of a holiday, and you can get one too. Enter for Tropica Island of Treasure Carousel. If you are looking for fame and fortune, you could be selected as one of the six contestants going to Carousel in the Caribbean, featured on the TV series. Plus, stand a chance of winning a shared million rand with a celebrity partner. All you have to do is WhatsApp the keyword TIOT9 to 063-921-8395 for audition details. And remember to buy Tropica for details to stand a chance of winning literally hundreds and thousands of prizes. It could be you winning with Tropica Island of Treasure. So WhatsApp TIOT9 now to 063-921-8395 for audition details. T's and C's and more information can be found on tropica.co.za. Now, after the break, we learn about some nifty Monday workouts with fitness coach Luck Morfadzi. There's nothing smoother than winning when you buy Tropica. To enter for Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, buy any size and your favorite flavor of Tropica in fresh or long life. Find the unique code behind the label or the sticker. Then follow the entry details on the pack and you could win daily prizes of airtime, cash, LG Q60 smartphones, 55-inch LG UHD smart artificial intelligence digital TVs, steam dishwashers, Caribbean tan hampers, or guest watches. That's more than 100,000 prizes. Now for your chance at competing in Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, record a video audition of yourself describing how you would outsmooth your competition on the island. Then load that video onto Instagram, Twitter or Facebook with hashtag TIOT9 or WhatsApp the video to 063-921-8395 and it could be you winning a share of 1 million rand plus smooth fame and fortune while flying with KLM to the Caribbean for this season of Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao. Every day 
let brave young kids around our country fight their own private battle against cancer. To show them that other kids and families have got their back, a portion of the proceeds from every NutriKids product sold will go to secure the next Clover NutriKids Chalk Home in Port Elizabeth, a support base where children undergoing treatments and their families are accommodated, supported and given a fighting chance against cancer. Do you have a knack for creating special occasions? Would you like to be the resident foodie on Afternoon Express? Then enter the Taste Master essay on SABC3. Record a video of yourself telling us why you would be perfect for this role. Upload it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag the Taste Master essay and hashtag start with a Stella. The closing date for entries is midnight on Tuesday, the 22nd of October. 2019. The search will take place on the new reality show, The Taste Master SA, which starts on SABC3 in November. The finalists will be lucky enough to experience a true Christmas market in Belgium, which will be their inspiration for the final challenge. Enter now for the opportunity of a lifetime. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now enter Tropica Island of Treasure Carousel if you are looking for fame and fortune. You could be selected as one of the six contestants going to Carousel in the Caribbean featured on the TV series. Plus stand a chance of winning a shared million rand with a celebrity partner. All you have to do is WhatsApp the keyword TIOT9 to 063 921 8395 for audition details. And remember to buy Tropica for details to stand a chance of winning hundreds and thousands of prizes. It could be you winning with Tropica Island of Treasure. So WhatsApp TIOT9 now to 063 921 8395 for audition details. T's and C's do apply and more information can be found on tropica.co.za. There's nothing smoother than winning when you buy Tropica. To enter for Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, buy any size and your favorite flavor of Tropica in fresh or long life. Find the unique code behind the label or the sticker. Then follow the entry details on the pack and you could win daily prizes of airtime, cash, LG Q60 smartphones, 55-inch LG UHD smart artificial intelligence digital TVs, steam dishwashers, Caribbean tan hampers, or guest watches. That's more than 100,000 prizes. Now for your chance at competing in Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, record a video audition of yourself describing how you would outsmooth your competition on the island. Then load that video onto Instagram, Twitter or Facebook with hashtag TIOT9 or WhatsApp the video to 063-921-8395 and it could be you winning a share of 1 million rand plus smooth fame and fortune while flying with KLM to the Caribbean for this season of Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. So there are three things that you need to get into shape for summer. And those three things are a good diet, 
a regular workout routine and clover active drink now the on go on the go snack drink is a bright new packaging is packed with 50 nutrients and a good source of protein calcium and contains 12 vitamins it is literally the perfect item to fit into your gym bag and speaking of gym sometimes it's a little difficult to work out alone but you if you have a determined partner it makes everything easier so here to share some practical easy to do exercise techniques with a partner is fitness coach and personal trainer like Mofadzi and fitness enthusiast Abby McDarling welcome guys it's an honor to hey. how did your fitness journeys begin because I'm really trying to get motivated now that summer's coming <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is. yeah um, mine I've always been a, an athlete so yeah. I've always been into fitness but in 2017 I thought you know what let's just go all the way and do all the hectic stuff out there yeah. amazing judging by your photographs like well, it yeah. is a, I mean it's amazing that my producer asked you to wear a TV a t-shirt on the show <laughs> <laughs> how did your fitness journey begin um, a couple of years ago but I've been in gym like for most of my life to be honest um, but when I changed my mindset from like hating my body and hating exercise to yeah. loving it then it really like my fitness just hit can I tell you every every single woman watching the show right now is gonna yeah. be so happy you said that but I want to know is it actually true when your internal dialogue is so much more positive do you start seeing results quicker? Honestly, because I've, I've heard honestly that, I you do it. honestly you do um, you get more like of a passion for exercise yeah. and you actually enjoy the gym because yeah. like for years I hated the gym because I hated my body yeah um, and I slaved away and I never saw results but as soon as I made that mindset change and I yeah. started loving my body and exercising because I love my body and not because I yeah. hate it it just like everything exploded like my passion just exploded and yeah yeah if you guys start seeing a lot more naked selfies on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm trying to love my body to get motivated yeah. like more please help us yeah. how do we get motivated I know that it's a lot easier when you travel with or, 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 or train with a with buddy a why is it easier when you train with a partner and who should you, you who should you pick I think it's about accountability you know if you were with someone it's much more you you have to do something yeah so they push you to your limits yeah. and you, you it pushes you also to work out at a certain intensity you know okay. so if you slack it's it, it it affects the other person as well yeah, yeah. so you both are Working with well, I want to try and pick a buddy who's yeah. a lot fitter than I am. Like when I train and I do my power walks, I do it with a girl who's so much stronger than I am. Yes. And it's so I'm competitive, so it keeps me motivated <laughs> to yes. go a little faster and a little yeah, bit harder. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And also to pick someone who is at the same fitness fitness level with mm. you, yeah. so that you don't yeah. hold them back. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you show us a few little training tips of what to do with a partner? Definitely. Let's go yes. over to the world's biggest yoga. Matt. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. All right, give us some tips. I'm going to search because I'm okay. today. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start with this one. This is just a squat, a squat but with okay. a partner, so it helps you to actually do it properly. So when you're doing with a partner, it helps you to. Oh, look like more! She's going so much deeper than you. Are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's go um. again. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay, I think he's stiff from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I did okay. session, yeah. So yeah. it helps you to keep your body upright. Is when you do it alone, you tend to lean forward. Yeah. So this helps your glutes, your quads. Is and that all not your the legs. right way though to do a squat? To lean forward like uh, that? It, it, you're trying to. Uh, you lean forward, but the up, back straight, sort of yeah. upright. Okay. You want to lean on your heels yeah. Yeah. to activate your so glutes. So the power is to come okay. from the legs, not All right. the upper body. Yes. I'm just gonna check out the. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so this uh, with a partner, it helps to they support you. Okay. And you keep the same rhythm as well. This actually looks like quite a cute thing to do on a date. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah. That'll just... inspire me to train a little bit harder. My yeah. Hard is something I'd want to go on a date night with. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next Maybe exercise. The... Next exercise. It's. Uh, I know most ladies want flat tummies. They want some yes, abs. Definitely. Uh, so this is some creative workouts you can do. Yeah. Ooh, so you must squeeze in. <laughs> <I'm> feeling it. <laughs> and make sure your elbow touches the opposite knee yeah. of your leg. And that is making the side, what are these called? Obliques. The obliques. Obliques. Yes. 
Okay. So yeah, that will get your obliques uh, really get that six ready for going. the summer body. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Next exercise. The next exercise. That's a bit more uh, intense. So you can, uh, lay it down. Woo. So this one gets your heart rate up. Yeah. So while she's doing that, I'll be doing jump. Oh, that is amazing. Baby. And jump. Okay. And then I get to do the same. Nice jump. <gasps> oh, go curl. Oh. And do you feel those explosive exercises really turn you very quickly? Very quickly. Okay, good. It's very good fact. Because I want to be hot by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I'm inspired. I feel like I've done an exercise <laughs> just watching you. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. So this is us. Yeah, perfect for Lovely. getting your body ready. Stunning, <laughs> stunning. Well, the saying goes, if you don't want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go further, go in twos. So we hope that these workout examples have encouraged you to stay active. And of course, with Clover Active Drink, your ideal training partner for a stronger, better, faster you, it'll be easier to achieve those summer bodies. <laughs> I'm going to have the clove now. <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. So we love our cats for the very reason that they are independent minded. So whether they do what we ask them to or go ahead and do whatever they want, we love them equally, knowing how much uh, his cats Coco and you know enjoy the Whiskers Trio Crunchy Treats. We got stand-up comic Yasin Barnes uh, to go all in whether he could use the treats to influence their behavior. I love the bribery <laughs> here. But let's first get a sense of their personalities. Yasin was sent a box of toys, an obstacle course, laser pointer, and some Whiskers Trio Crunchy Treats to use either as incentive or rewards for Coco and Juno completing the task. Here's the course, right? You have to go through the rainbow arch over there, then go through the cones, and then we're going through the tunnel, through the tunnel. Yeah, 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 calm down. Through the tunnel, and then you get the treat. But also, I, yeah. I also love you, so you can just have a treat. The laser pointer got their attention, but nothing beat the shake of those treats. I struggled because I was like, how am I going to persuade the cats to do the obstacle course? They didn't want to do the course because they're cats. With a little persuasion of the treats, this, I think the sound of the treats is really, it's really juicy. So it makes them just scrap fucker and then they do the things. It's, so they showed me love by running through the course and just <laughs> skipping the course as a whole. But I feel like the treats is a great signal to stop what they're doing and they come inside. Even when I let them run out and then I shake the treats no matter where they are, then they come home because the treats are there for them. Whiskers Trio Crunchy Treats are the trick to more. Hashtag meow moments with your fur babies. That is actually amazing. I've never seen cats like listen to people in such an amazing way. We're training them from a young age. They're still kittens. They just yeah. turned one in September. That is incredible. Okay, tell me about, about them. Where did, you, where did you find them and how were you introduced uh, and how did you become a little family? So I, I was never a cat person. I didn't grow up with animals. I was, yeah. I was that person when I visit people like that. Then I just, hi, your cat is nice. Leave yeah. me alone. Yeah. And then uh, last year we started going to the SPCA and then I started learning to love animals. Just like I can pet them from a distance. They were kittens, oh, they showed me love. And then I fell in love with them. And then we chose the names Coco and Juno. Why? But then, because they rhymed and they had a nice okay, flow. Yeah, they <laughs> but, do, they are but, nice names. But only like a year later, then only like a year later, a few months down the line, I realized that I actually wanted to name the one Yabba and the other one Dabba. So I can ask- Yabba Dabba do. <laughs> I'm only here for silly <laughs> names, guys. Just, no, there it's There were a good. few other names, but those were my favorites, though. Yeah. And they were they calico cats, which means that they have a color, but the color changes. Yeah. So we have, I have photos of them as kittens, but... No way. So do their color changes as they grow older or just depending on their mood? Uh, no, as... I mean, what <laughs> I know about cats. <laughs> they're not chameleons, they're still cats. <laughs> so as they get older, they, the, the color would change from, like, light to dark. Is and that then, the breed, calico? Yeah, calico is the breed. And they just, they just show love. The one is like a pop 
Coco's like a puppy where yeah. she runs to me. She like always wants attention. And then Juno, Juno's a cat where she's like, I'm actually her pet. Yeah. And whenever she wants attention, then I must give her but attention. But isn't that, that the thing with cats though? Like it's their house, you just live in it. Yes, I, <laughs> I pay rent for them. They yeah. are the masters now. And whenever they like, it's three time, then I'm just like, okay, it's three time now. So were you <laughs> conscious of wanting to get them to do little tricks? Like can you teach a cat tricks? Like if you say sit, will they sit? I think that's only with the internet cats. In normal cats, uh, okay. don't listen. You okay. know those videos you see on Facebook? Yeah. Those are videos of yeah, cats yeah. that listen. And my cats were just like, yeah, we're fine. But I, I used the laser, though. I cheated. I don't know if you yeah. can see in the video. I used the laser just to... Yeah. So they follow the laser. They love the laser so much. I think it's just a cat thing. And then how did you get into their treats? And, like, how did they respond to it? So do you put them... Do they respond to treats in when you're getting them to learn tricks? So... The, the treats just make them come to me. So okay. I didn't like lie it out. I just, if you shake the, the, the trio of crunchy treats comes in such a nice box and it has that sound that, that yeah. well, I don't want to make the sound of a shake like a Do choo, it. Choo, choo, choo. Yeah. No, guys, now on national TV, you know what? it actually looks stones. like a very expensive little Tupperware because of the shape. It it's looks got a very nice cool. cat shape, also. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so if you just shake the box, wherever they are, if they're sleeping or they're awake, the cat's just. It's yeah. ears up, it's yeah. alert mode, and then they come responding to me. So and I think they love I, it. I, I, I cheated the, 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 the track by using the treats. Yeah. And then do they come in for a little cuddle as well? Our cat's quite cuddly. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm becoming... I'm, you know, You're going to become that cat lady. This is three, the stereotype of a cat lady. Yeah. I've become the cat lady. No, it's good. It's great. I, I don't go out because I go, why must I meet people? Yeah. These, these, these are nice animals over here and they treat me well. Oh, that is so, so sweet. <laughs> so in winter, Juno... So Juno's the one that she's quite aloof. She doesn't really care for people. Yeah. But in winter, Juno comes and gets in the bed and she, she's like a little warm water bottle. Oh, that, that is so mm, cute. Now, I'm sorry, National TV, the rest of South Africa. I'm a crazy cat person now, and this is, this is who I'll be. No, can I tell you, a friend <laughs> of mine actually sent me, and this is a perfect, perfect for cat segment. I'm dying. I want him to film it. Sent me a picture this morning. He was sitting on the toilet. I didn't see that part. <laughs> the cat comes every day and climbs into his pants. They, they love How doing sweet. That. You can see why they're such heroes on the internet. They really, they, they just, they, like, even if my day, like, if I'm tired or whatever I am, and I'm, or I'm lazy, they just come and they just show love. Like, they don't care about yeah. anything else. They just, they... To no, so sweet. They just, just show me love. I don't care about the rest of the world. I'm here for you. And No, I listen, like I was thinking, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't enjoy your career in comedy anymore, you could always get a career in training animals because I couldn't believe how well they responded to you. I'm, I'm still so happy that they did because there was TV then. I was like, guys, you can't, I, I gave them a pip talk before the people came, before yeah. the camera crew came. I was like, okay, guys, the... You need to please, yeah. please perform, please perform. I gave them some treats before the yeah. time. I gave them treats throughout the day, and they were like, "Okay, yeah, we're listening to you. Let's do it." No, that. they're Thanks. so so sweet. Thank you so much for Thanks doing for that for us. So, so no matter how adventurous your cats are, being their inquisitive selves deserves a spoil. So treat them with Whiskers Trio Crunchy Treats. Now, after the break, we talk about the importance of teaching your little ones how to swim with Dr. Lyndall Gibbs. Thank you so much.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So we're looking for the perfect resident chef to join Palesa and I from Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. Our very own connoisseur of opulence and taste. So if you have the instinct for perfect ingredients or the flair to join in on this prestige kitchen, then enter the premium new reality show, The Taste Master, on SABC3. Enter by recording yourself and tell us why you are the perfect taste master. Make sure to upload it onto Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag the taste master SA. Do you have a knack for creating special occasions? Would you like to be the resident foodie on Afternoon Express? Then enter the Tastemaster SA on SABC3. Record a video of yourself telling us why you would be perfect for this role. Upload it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag the Tastemaster SA and hashtag start with a Stella. The closing date for entries is midnight on Tuesday the 22nd of October. 2019. The search will take place on the new reality show, The Tastemaster SA, which starts on SABC3 in November. The finalists will be lucky enough to experience a true Christmas market in Belgium, which will be their inspiration for the final challenge. Enter now for the opportunity of a lifetime. So yesterday was the start of the UK's celebrated National Baby Swimming Week and Afternoon Express decided to shed some information on the early development of babies as a result of swimming for our weekly Mommy Monday segment. Here to help us understand more is paediatrician and mum, Dr. Lyndall Gibbs, and her son, Luke Gibbs. Hi. Hello. Hello. You, Good and you. Hello, Lukey. So hello, Jeannie. How are you, cutie? <laughs> so, I mean... Uh, this goes without saying, yeah. National Baby Swimming Week is so important. Absolutely. Just to spread awareness because, wow, it, water is dangerous. Yes. Especially for little ones this age. Big time. Why is it important to you? So, I mean, ironically, I, I'm actually... Okay, come here. <laughs> I don't actually swim well. Um, and really? For me, it's always been a bit nerve-wracking being in the water, knowing that I'm, I'm, I can swim to save my life, and that's about as far as we yeah. can go. And, you know, we, we grow up in Cape Town surrounded by the sea and swimming pools and stuff. So for me, it's been really important that my kids know how to swim. Sure. And how young can they be for you to teach them? Is that whole thing of throwing the newborn baby <gasps> in the pool oh my God. effective? <laughs> that, is, that is the worst. So, um, you know, there's different schools of thoughts um, yeah. our swimming teacher who we, you know we've been swimming with her for the last six years between yeah. my daughter and him she feels that's tantamount to child abuse it wow. doesn't drown proof children it actually creates so much fear in them in the long term really so the way that we do it is it's so gentle it's such fun it's mom or dad in the water with the kids and they just learn to be safe and to enjoy themselves and slowly but surely the the swimming part of it comes yeah. but they don't even learn strokes or anything till they're about four years old but is there such a thing as baby proofing like I know I've gone with one of my godsons before mm. when he was a tiny little baby and what she was doing is she was pushing him under the water to, to train him how to go onto his back. Is baby proofing a thing? I mean, baby swim proofing. So I think proofing. you can never completely drown proof a child. Drown proof. Um, you know, it can, it can happen at any time. We've seen children, you know, I'm, I'm a pediatrician, so I've seen children who can swim, who are good swimmers, yeah. actually still drowning. So I don't think as parents we can ever go, Phew, this is sorted, totally. my child can swim yeah. and I can stop watching them. We have to watch them. We have to be so yeah. diligent with them in the water. But I mean, with learning to swim under the water and stuff, they learn to swim, to turn onto their backs. They learn yeah. to swim under the water, yeah. to breathe under the water. But it's such a, a gentle and natural progression that it actually doesn't feel like they're being taught. It just looks like we're playing for half an hour a week. Yeah. And how good is it for them, for their cognitive development? I'm sure for them, I mean, babies, but, but do they have a spiritual wellness? Oh, don't. Like, definitely. But for being in that water, I mean, because kids can also get yeah. stressed. Uh, Absolutely. It's a beautiful bonding experience. Yeah. Um, I think it maybe teaches them to listen a little <laughs> we, bit, if you can imagine. <laughs> He's like, I want to be like swimming, me. guys. He wants money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, because you're doing it so gently, you're bonding, you're creating that trust experience. Yeah. And I think it's, it's really good for their motor development as well. You know, they're, they're getting strong, they're using their cores, yeah. they're learning to hold their breath. So it actually makes them incredibly strong in the long run as well. Okay, so when do you recommend, like for any new moms, when do you recommend that they can take their kids for swimming? I mean, you can start from about four to six months. Yeah. Um, 
it really, you want to get them early enough that they're, they're not scared of the water, yeah. that they haven't learned to fear. But even if it's before you take them for swimming yeah. lessons, you can play with them in the bath, you know, put a bit of water over their exactly. faces, that kind of thing. So there's a lot you can do from the get go yeah. just to keep them comfortable. I mean, they've come from nine months in water. Exactly. So just to keep them comfortable in that environment. And I think I can't stress enough because I know a few families personally that it's happened to them mm. is when their kids have ended up in the water. Yeah. You've always got to watch them. You cannot Absolutely. take your eyes off a Never. child in the bath, in the water. If there's a pond around, you cannot let a yeah. child unsupervised near water. This guy Finish. will find a cat bowl. So yes, um, yeah. even a cat bowl is dangerous. So any body of water, it's still dangerous for them. Yeah. Um, but a, a big thing that we learn with the, the kids is they learn that they're only allowed in the pool yeah. if mom or dad is there. Okay. So a lot of what we do is just sitting there. You feel like, why are we just clapping still? But they have to wait for you to give the signal that they can climb in. Okay. So so, you know, they learn as they're getting bigger. I remember my daughter about age two sitting at the end of the pool and just clapping. And yeah. she waited for me to climb in and then she dumped, jumped in. Yeah. So they're just learning that safety inherently. It's so important. Like I've got a little godchild who's now almost three years old mm. and watching him dive in the water, I, 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 I'd panic as a mother. <laughs> I think I'd be the most neurotic person on the planet. <laughs> so I just watch them jumping in and I think, That's oh, kids, they make you they're scared. Gonna hit their heads, they're going to do it. It's crazy. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing such important information with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you for bringing Luke. Sure. He's definitely made our studio a much happier place today. Yeah. I think he's rearranged <laughs> some of it, but he had fun too. No, <laughs> it's great. I love having kids and animals in the studio all the time. It's the best. Cool. So, okay. coming up on Afternoon Express, the amazing Miguel Progrero hits the stage after the break. Don't miss out. Express yourself. Next time on The Next Brand Ambassador. With the new team leader at the helm, the function takes place. There's a lot going on. People seem to be a little bit confused. It is definitely not expected. What's happening? You had one job, Kitty. <sighs> In the boardroom, things get heated. I'm hearing a lot of excuses again and a lot of justifications, but no accountability. Catch all the drama on The Next Brand Ambassador. Thursdays at 7.30pm. Repeat Saturdays at 2pm on SABC3. Proudly brought to you by Capitec. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. My baby says she loves me. My baby says she loves me. Says she needs me, tries to make me feel guilty when she cries. My baby says she wants me, but ask about the others and she'll deny. The truth is clear to see. There's someone better out there waiting for me. I'm living a lie. How could I have been so blind? Do you have a knack for creating special occasions? Would you like to be the resident foodie on Afternoon Express? Then enter the Taste Master essay on SABC3. Record a video of yourself telling us why you would be perfect for this role. Upload it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag the Taste Master essay and hashtag start with a Stella. The closing date for entries is midnight on Tuesday, the 22nd of October. 2019.
2019. The search will take place on the new reality show, The Tastemaster SA, which starts on SABC3 in November. The finalists will be lucky enough to experience a true Christmas market in Belgium, which will be their inspiration for the final challenge. Enter now for the opportunity of a lifetime. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now detailing all the ins and outs of a turbulent relationship. This is Miguel Pogrero with his new single called My Baby Says She Loves Me. Take it away. Thank you. <laughs> Baby says she needs me Tries to make me feel guilty when she cries My baby says she wants me But ask about the others and she'll deny The truth is clear to see There's someone better out there waiting for me I'm living a lie How could I have been so blind? I'm living a lie Even through heartbreak I still try in my life, I think it's time to say goodbye. No more, no more. My baby says she loves me, but she'll always put me last. My baby says she needs me, but we'll leave giving the chance. My baby says she wants me, believing in her lies is in the past. The truth is clear to see. There's someone better out there waiting for me. I'm living a lie. How could I have been so blind? I'm living a lie. Even through hard I still try. I don't need this in my life. I think it's time to say goodbye. No more. No more. The thing about love that has to come equally. There's no point in trying to she's not right for me my life My baby says she loves me But the truth is clear to see There's only one thing on her mind Just leave me alone in the light I don't need this in my life I think it's time to say goodbye No more It's hard to say goodbye No more No more I'm living a lie How could I have been so blind? I'm living a lie Even through our I still try I don't need this in my life I think it's hard to say goodbye That is, of course, Miguel with my baby says she loves me. Come on in. That was absolutely fantastic. Now you've got to teach me that move. Thank you so much. That little music. Uh, that little... What did you do? It's just, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a dancer. <laughs> but I just, I just. So we go. Yeah. Left. Right. No, man, you're doing soccer skills here. These are dancers. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that because you did soccer, that, or did, uh, do you think that you can dance like that? It actually made you a better soccer player? Actually, 
I think it makes me an average dancer because... Tell me why. As a soccer player, you always, you go on your like strong foot, for example. Yeah. When you're doing like Latin dancing, your hips must move the opposite direction. Oh, really? Of like where you're... I might be completely wrong. Yeah, I always thought, <laughs> I might be wrong, no, but I always but thought that the Latin teams always did better at soccer because they were better dancers. That's interesting. Yeah, that's because of good movement yeah. in the hips. But there, but there is maybe some, some yeah. assistance. So tell me, are you gigging at the moment? Where can people catch you live in action? So I gig quite often. I yeah. do post it on my social media. So okay. if people want to know where we'll I am. put all your details on um, our social media. So they just check my social media because yeah. it's different places. Has anyone all ever told time. you you sound like Enrique Iglesias? <laughs> Uh, some people say I am the, the South African in Ah, good. But, uh, that's Thank a you so much for yeah. being on the show. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very Tomorrow much. we cook along with the phenomenal Rolene Strauss. Be sure to join us then. Thank you so much for joining us at home. We'll be back at the same time, same place tomorrow. Good night and God bless. Thank you. Afternoon yeah. Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.